going to uh, present today the Copernicus Hackathon program. Uh, we have a call for proposal, which is uh, currently open, and I want you to raise awareness uh, about this call uh, so that you know that it exists, and if you're interested, uh, that's, that you can apply in time. Um, for information, this, uh, this presentation will be recorded and published online uh, to make sure the, uh, the uh, call remains a competitive and open tool. Um, so, my name is Thibault Delorme, I'm a team leader for Copernicus User of Tech, and in particular, I deal with the, everything that relates to the startup program. Uh, but to, um, one second, next one, the next slide, please. It should work, normally. It doesn't work? Oh, there it is. Sorry. So, um, just to put that into, into the, the broadest perspective possible, uh, our objective uh, here at the Commission is to make sure that the space sector is best connected to other policies and economic areas. And to do that, we believe that we need to build an intermediate layer of uh, service providers, may they be from the public sector or from the private sector, uh, but organizations that will use Copernicus data and services products and transform them into uh, information that is readily available and usable by the end users. And that's the, our objective at the, at, the, uh, at, the, at the Commission, is to build, together with you, this intermediate layer of, of service providers. Um, one of the elements uh, to reach this objective is the Copernicus Startup Program. Uh, this might sound familiar to quite a lot of you, because uh, I, um, I, mean, I did a presentation about the Copernicus Incubation Program a couple of weeks ago, uh, since we launched uh, a call on, on this program. Uh, no, uh, now today I'm talking about the, uh, the final block of the startup program, which is the Copernicus Hackathon. So, uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, there are two entry gates into our startup program. First one is uh, the Copernicus Masters. So, for the first time this year, the uh, European Commission has financed six challenges as part of the Copernicus Masters. Um, and uh, the second entry block is what we're going to talk uh, about today, the Copernicus Hackathon program. Uh, once you enter into these, uh, these gates, uh, we select the 50 best startups and we in integrate them into our Copernicus Accelerator, which has been operational for a year and has been extremely successful so far. Uh, we've had excellent, uh, excellent feedback from, from the stakeholders and the participants. The idea is, with the Copernicus Incubation Program, move to the last step, which is to incubate the best startup from our Copernicus Accelerator, but also from any other accelerator and incubators. I know some of you are in charge or know some accelerators and incubators. Um, once the Copernicus incubation program is fully operational, you will have a chance to receive a 50k voucher to finance a startup in your own accelerator and your own incubator. Uh, more on that in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, the call for the Copernicus incubation program is being evaluated. We will publish the, uh, the, uh, the award in the, in the coming weeks. But now today I'm talking about the Copernicus Hackathon program, uh, um, which is, as I said, the entry gate into our program. So um, the, the, uh, the scheme that we're using is what we call a cascading grant, um, by which we are trying to uh, select a coordinator of the program, which will organize the program on the behalf of the commission. And this uh, coordinator will then uh, finance hackathons to be organized by local authorities and uh, local organizations on the ground. So the coordinator of the program does not organize the hackathon himself, itself. He finances 85% of the cost for the organizer, for the local organizer. The idea is, it, is that we finance 20 hackathons per year uh, for uh, two years. Uh, we give a maximum of 20K uh, for uh, each organizer, for each hackathon. Um, so with this team, you see that you have two ways to participate in the hackathon program, either as the coordinator of the program, so it's the object of uh, the call that is open at the moment, or at the later stage as an organizer of hackathon. I know some of you are already organizing hackathons, if you're interested in organizing more, if you, you want to, 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 to develop this new activity in your organization, you could organize a Copernicus hackathon, and we would finance 85% of the cost up to uh, 20,000 euros. 
But for two days, the call, I, I repeat again, the call that's open is to select the coordinator of the program, i.e. the one that will manage and that will provide uh, support to the organizers at the local level. Um, if you want to submit an application, you have the link, uh, you have the link on, on the slides, the deadline for submission, again, to be the manager of the program, of the entire program, is September 7th. Uh, then we'll have a couple of months to, uh, to select the, uh, the manager and to set up the infrastructure. And then if you want to organize an hackathon, you will have the opportunity to uh, submit an application in the beginning of 2018. But we will come back to you at that time to uh, clearly explain how you can apply if you want to organize a hackathon at your, at, with your own organization. So the duration of the call uh, of the program so far is seen for two years. Uh, consortia are not eligible, so we're looking for uh, single organizations which want to act as manager of the program. Uh, it doesn't mean they cannot uh, uh, um, uh, collaborate with other organizations. For instance, they can receive letter of support from organizations saying that they are willing to help the manager of the program in any way uh, possible, but we want to deal only with uh, single organizations. The budget that's foreseen for these activities is, is um, 400,000 euros for the coordination of the program uh, with a 85% co-financing rate and uh, 800,000 euros to be allocated to the, organizer, to the organizer of the hackathon. So as I said, we will give 20K per hackathon. Uh, we will organize 20 hackathons per year, so that's 400,000 euros per year that we give to uh, local organizers of hackathons uh, for two years. So that gives you a total of 800,000 years. Um, the uh, coordination of the program includes many uh, different support that will be provided by the coordinator of the program to the organizers. For instance, helping them with the IT system, helping them with speakers, uh, with agenda, uh, how to recruit uh, the right, uh, the right uh, manager, how to recruit the right uh, participants. And, and so on. Uh, but that's, that's the overall architecture of the, of the program. Um, you'll have there, I'm, I'm, not to go, I'm not going to go into detail, but there you have the evaluation criteria. Uh, what, what's really important is, is um, of course, the, the criteria that have the, the, the largest number of points. For instance, uh, the, the number two relevance of the applications, the objective of the action. And for us, it's very important that you're able to demonstrate that you will be able to organize together with local organizers 20 hackathons per year, and that the quality of these hackathons will be uh, very high to, to the top of, of, of what can be done. I'm not going to go into too much detail. It's just uh, to, to, to tell you that it, the, what we are expecting as part of this call is very clearly explained in the uh, evaluation criteria. I will stop here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Uh, you can also send me an email in, uh, if you think about other questions in, in the coming weeks. Don't hesitate. It's open until September 7th. Thank you very much.